Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. Don't miss our post-game shows coming up. We got one tomorrow, two next Sunday, or this Sunday, and another one next week. So mark it on your calendars and be there. Let's talk about Louisville versus Michigan. Finally a pretty good game, a lot of athletes going back and forth. It didn't have as much structure as college games in the past used to have, but they were making shots, it was exciting, the referees were again just kind of head-scratchingly bad. Uh, I wanted to focus in on Spike Albrecht, when, by the way, my nickname in high school was Spike, so I like that, and uh, also Luke Hancock, too semi-unheralded, well certainly Albrecht was unheralded player, coming off the bench, lighting it up in the first half and keeping Michigan in contention, in fact better than contention, in control of the game. But it was Luke Hancock who came in and finished the deal. Now it's pretty clear to me that teams that take more good shots tend to win games and without question Louisville got a lot more good shots as Michigan resorted to one-on-one -on -one individual play and that ain't gonna fly against a good team like Louisville. Michigan had serious trouble with their baseline out-of-bounds play all night long. Not one solid screen is set, McGarry is way too slow cutting to the hoop, and they have to throw this very dangerous lob out to half court. Against Louisville's 2-3 zone, Michigan doesn't do too much. Watch how Behannon doesn't get back to his position as the forward, leaving Spike Albrecht with an open look. In transition, Siva appears to step in for an obvious charge, and Jang overruns Albrecht, unable to get a hand up. Baseline out-of-bounds plays are key, and should be run to get a shot. Instead, Michigan doesn't set good screens and seems to want to throw another risky lob. They get lucky with this Jang foul. Louisville gets back in their 2-3 zone. Since their guards come so far out from the three-point line, Michigan can run screen and roll. Siva is the weak side guard, inexplicably jumping underneath the screen, leaving the entire weak side wing area open. Spike Albrecht wasn't just a threat from the outside, watch how he expertly brings the ball up under pressure, always in control. They were running pick and roll for him, but Chang is slow coming to help and Spike makes an incredibly difficult floater. Another ineffective out of bounds play results in an iso for Albrecht with the shot clock winding down. A poor screen set by McGarry doesn't get Spike open, so he takes matters into his own hands. Spike's last make is a doozy, born out of one of my all-time favorite plays, the fake dribble handoff. Watch how he shows the ball to Hardaway before crossing over. His man goes for the fake, and he squirrels to the rim for the layup. Here's an example of a great out-of-bounds play designed to get a shot, and it couldn't have come at a better time for Louisville. Normally, Hancock would set a pin down for Siva coming in bounds, Instead, a tiny push-off and he runs around Jang, his man goes on the wrong side, and that's all the daylight Hancock needs. Here's my other favorite play, the pin down to dribble pitch for Hancock out of the corner. In essence, it's a double screen and McGarry is a fraction late on the help. Against Louisville, you better be ready to pick up your man just over half court. Hardaway gets lost for way too long, and Siva does a smart move by getting in Hardaway's way. On the pick and roll, Morgan does a nice job on the high hedge, but as he sprints back to his man, he gets tangled up with Levert, something you cannot do against a guy like Luke Hancock. With Louisville up by seven and time running short, Michigan is desperate for a stop. Louisville calls a double ball screen, and while Michigan does a nice job containing, there's a mismatch with Trey Burke guarding Bahannon. Impressively, Levert is able to switch with him, but Burke then foolishly helps one pass away off of the hottest guy in the gym, and Hancock ices the game. So there you have it, sports fans. Again, Patino got his team to execute better throughout the whole game, and even though they were down, you could tell they just needed to stick to the plan and wear them out with their press, and they would take it going away, which is what happened. Spike Albrecht was a nice story. It would have been amazing had they won, and there was Luke Hancock stealing the day from him and nailing shots. Well, thanks for joining us. Don't miss our post-game show coming up tomorrow, and then on Sunday we'll have a double post-game show, and there's a lot more coming up. I hope you guys aren't getting too dizzy from all this content, because we are hard at work creating it for you. So stay tuned for lots more, and don't forget, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You in?